Dusseldorf, German, DSL, DF, listen, Low Franconian and Ripuarian, Dusseldorf, DSL, DP, often Dusseldorf in English sources, is the capital and, after Cologne, second most populous city of the most populous German federal state of North Rhine-Westphalia, as well as the seventh most populous city in Germany. At the confluence of the Rhine and its tributary Dussel, the city lies in the center of both the Rhine Ruhr and the Rhineland metropolitan regions with the Cologne Bonn urban area to its south and the Ruhr to its north. The city is the largest in the German Low Franconian closely related to Dutch dialect area. Most of the city lies on the right bank of the Rhine as opposed to Cologne, whose city center lies on the river's left bank. Dorf, meaning village. Dusseldorf is the largest settlement with that suffix in the German-speaking area. Mercer's 2012 Quality of Living Survey ranked Dusseldorf the sixth most livable city in the world. Dusseldorf Airport is Germany's third busiest airport after those of Frankfurt and Munich, serving as the most important international airport for the inhabitants of the densely populated Ruhr, Germany's largest urban area. Dusseldorf is an international business and financial center, renowned for its fashion and trade fairs, and is headquarters to one Fortune Global 500 and two DAX companies. Messe Dusseldorf organizes nearly one-fifth of premier trade shows. As second largest city of the Rhineland, Dusseldorf holds Rhenish Carnival celebrations every year in February, March, the Dusseldorf Carnival celebrations being the third most popular in Germany after those held in Cologne and Mainz. There are 22 institutions of higher education in the city including the Heinrich Heine Universität Dusseldorf, the University of Applied Sciences Hochschule Dusseldorf, the Academy of Arts Kunstakademie Dusseldorf Joseph Beuys, Emanuel Leutze, August Mackey, Gerhard Richter, Sigmar Pohl and Andreas Gursky, and the University of Music Robert Schumann Musikhochschule Dusseldorf. The city is also known for its pioneering influence on electronic, experimental music, craftwork, and its Japanese community. History When the Roman Empire was strengthening its position throughout Europe, a few Germanic tribes clung on in marshy territory off the eastern banks of the Rhine. In the 7th and 8th centuries, the odd farming or fishing settlement could be found at the point where the small river Dussel flows into the Rhine. It was from such settlements that the city of Dusseldorf grew. The first written mention of Dusseldorf, then called Dusseldorp in the local Low Rhenish dialect, dates back to 1135. Under Emperor Friedrich Barbarossa the small town of Kaiserswerth to the north of Dusseldorf became a well-fortified outpost, where soldiers kept a watchful eye on every movement on the Rhine. Kaiserswerth eventually became a suburb of Dusseldorf in 1929. In 1186, Dusseldorf came under the rule of the Counts of Berg. The 14th of August 1288 is one of the most important dates in the history of Dusseldorf. On this day the sovereign Count Adolf Aid of Berg granted the village on the banks of the Dussel town privileges. Before this, a bloody struggle for power had taken place between the Archbishop of Cologne and the Count of Berg, culminating in the Battle of Waringen. The Archbishop of Cologne's forces were wiped out by the forces of the Count of Berg who were supported by citizens and farmers of Cologne and Dusseldorf, paving the way for Dusseldorf's elevation to city status, which is commemorated today by a monument on the Berg plots. The custom of turning cartwheels is credited to the children of Dusseldorf. There are variations of the origin of the cartwheeling children. Today the symbol der Rodschläger represents the story and every year the Dusseldorfers celebrate by having a cartwheeling contest. After this battle the relationship between the four cities deteriorated, because they were commercial rivals. It is often said that there is a kind of hostility between the citizens of Cologne and Dusseldorf. Today, it finds its expression mainly in a humorous form especially during the Rhineland Carnival and in sports. A market square sprang up on the banks of the Rhine and the square was protected by city walls on all four sides. In 1380, the Dukes of Berg moved their seat to the town and Dusseldorf was made regional capital of the Duchy of Berg. During the following centuries several famous landmarks were built, including the Collegiate Church of St. Lambertus. In 1609, the ducal line of the United Duchies of Julek Cleves Berg died out, and after a virulent struggle over succession, Julek and Berg fell to the Wittelsbach counts of Palatinate Neuburg, who made Dusseldorf their main domicile, even after they inherited the electorate of the Palatinate, in 1685, becoming now prince electors as electors palatine. 
Under the art loving Johann Wilhelm II, R. 1690 a vast art gallery with a huge selection of paintings and sculptures, were housed in the Stadschloss city castle. After his death, the city fell on hard times again, especially after Elector Charles Theodore inherited Bavaria and moved the electoral court to Munich. With him he took the art collection, which became part of what is now the Alt Pinakothek in Munich. Destruction and poverty struck Dusseldorf after the Napoleonic Wars. Napoleon made Berg a Grand Duchy and Dusseldorf its capital. Johann Deverein, a leader of Solingen's resistance to Napoleon's conscription decrees, was executed here in 1813. After Napoleon's defeat, the whole Rhineland including Berg was given to the Kingdom of Prussia in 1815. The Rhine Province's parliament was established in Dusseldorf. By the mid-19th century, Dusseldorf enjoyed a revival thanks to the Industrial Revolution as the city boasted 100,000 inhabitants by 1882, the figure doubled in 1892. In 1920, Dusseldorf became the center of the general strike. On 15 April 1920, 45 delegates of the German Miners' Union were murdered by the Freikorps. The city was a target of strategic bombing during World War II, particularly during the RAF bombing campaign in 1943 when over 700 bombers were used in a single night. Raids continued late into the war. As part of the campaign against German oil facilities, the RAF raid of 20–21 February on the Renania Ossag refinery in the Reisholz district of the city halted oil production there. The Allied ground advance into Germany reached Dusseldorf in mid-April 1945. The United States 97th Infantry Division easily captured the city on 18 April 1945, after the local German resistance group launched Action Rhineland. In 1946, Dusseldorf was made capital of the new federal state of North Rhine-Westphalia. The city's reconstruction proceeded at a frantic pace and the economic transformation guided Dusseldorf's economic growth. Geography Physical geography Dusseldorf lies at the center of the Lower Rhine Basin, where the delta of the Dussel flows into the Rhine. The city lies on the east side of the Rhine, except District 4 Oberkassel, Niederkassel, Heerd and Lorik. Across the Rhine, the city of Nuss stands on the delta of the ERFT. Dusseldorf lies southwest of the Ruhr urban area, and in the middle of the Rhine-Ruhr metropolitan region. Dusseldorf is built entirely on alluvium, mud, sand, clay and occasionally gravel. The highest point in Dusseldorf is the top of Sandberg in the far eastern part of the city Hubbelrath Borough at 165 meters 541 feet. The lowest point is at the far northern end in Whitler Borough where the Schwarzbach enters the Rhine, with an average elevation of 28 metres 92 feet. <laughs> Adjacent cities and districts The following districts and cities border Dusseldorf clockwise starting from the north, the city of Duisburg, the district of Metman, Radingen, Metman, Urkrath, Heilden, Langenfeld, and Monheim, and the district of Nuss Dormagen, Nuss, and Meerbusch. <laughs> climate The city has a oceanic climate Köppen, CFB, mild in relation the East Germany. Like the rest of the Lower Rhineland, Dusseldorf experiences moderate winters with little snowfall and mild to warm summers. The average annual temperature is 10.6 degrees Celsius 51 degrees Fahrenheit with an average yearly precipitation of 797 mm 31 in. The dominant wind direction is from the west with velocities in the range of 3 to 4 meters per second 7 to 9 miles per hour, with gusts of 3.5 minus 4.8 meters per second 8 to 10.7 miles per hour. The wind is calm defined as being under 2 meters per second or 4.5 miles per hour about 35% of the time, more frequently at night and in the winter. Demographics With a population of 612,178 within the city boundaries the 31st of December 2015, Dusseldorf is Germany's seventh largest city. 
Its population surpassed the threshold of 100,000 inhabitants during the height of industrialization in 1882, and peaked at just over 705,000 in 1962. The city then began to lose residents with many moving into neighboring municipalities. However, since the late 1990s, the city's population has been slowly rising again. A total of 109,883 of Dusseldorf's population are foreigners the 31st of December 2008, the majority of whom come from within Europe 81,742. The largest national minorities are Turks, Greeks, and Poles. Dusseldorf and its surroundings have the third largest Japanese community in Europe and the largest in Germany about 11,000 people. Dusseldorf has the third largest Jewish community in Germany, with about 7,600 members. Government Mayors Districts Since 1975, Dusseldorf is divided into ten administrative districts. Each district has its own elected district council and its own district mayor The district councils are advisory only. Each district is further subdivided into boroughs. There are 50 boroughs in Dusseldorf. Topic economy Dusseldorf has become one of the top telecommunications centers in Germany. With two of the four big German providers of mobile frequencies, D2, Vodafone and E+, Dusseldorf leads the German mobile phone market. There are many foreign information and communication technology companies in Dusseldorf such as Huawei, NTT, Ericsson, Nokia, and GTS. There are 18 internet service providers located in the capital of North Rhine-Westphalia. There are two airlines with headquarters in the city, Eurowings and formerly independent LTU International. Many of the internet companies in Dusseldorf have their roots in the world of advertising. There are 400 advertising agencies in Dusseldorf, among them three of the largest in Germany, BBDO Group and Publicis. A number of affiliates of foreign agencies deserve mention as well, such as Ogilvy and Mather, Dentsu, Hakuhodo, and DDB. There are also about 200 publishing houses in Dusseldorf. There are around 170 national and international financial institutions, and about 130 insurance agencies, and one of Germany's eight stock exchanges. Several other major companies have their headquarters in the city, Peak and Kloppenberg Fashion, Uniper Electricity Generation, L'Oreal Germany Cosmetics and Beauty, Henkel AG & Co. KGAA branded consumer goods and industrial technologies, Metro wholesale, retail, Seconomy retail, Ergo insurance, Esprit Holdings fashion, headquarters in Ratingen near Dusseldorf, BASF Personal Care and Nutrition formerly Cognis, Chemicals, headquarter in Monheim near Dusseldorf, but production mainly in Dusseldorf, Daimler AG builds the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter light commercial vehicles in Dusseldorf. Since the 1960s, there has been a strong relationship between the city and Japan. Many Japanese banks and corporations have their European headquarters in Dusseldorf, so many that Dusseldorf has the third largest Japanese community in Europe, after London and Paris. The Co., which stands for Koenigsele King's Avenue, is a shopping destination. Some jewelry shops, designer labels, and galleries have their stores here. The Co. has among the highest rents for retail and office space in Germany. Media Important newspapers and journals such as Handelsblatt, Rheinisch Post, Wirtschaftswash, Deutsches Wirtschaftsblatt and VDI Nekriken are published in Dusseldorf. Almost all of these papers are available online on the Internet. Renowned filmmaking companies, such as Germany's biggest cinema enterprise, the Reek Group, and TV channels such as WDR and QVC are located in Dusseldorf. The foundation Film und Medienstiftung NRW is supporting the production of film and new media. In regards to movies and movie theaters in Dusseldorf, movie goers have the option to choose between multiple different languages at the theater. Many mainstream movies are shown in English, Spanish, French, and German. Topic: Transport. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Airport Deuce. Düsseldorf Airport, also referred to as Rhein-Ruhr Airport, is located 8 km miles from the city centre and can easily be reached by train or the S-Bahn Urban Railway. There is a long-distance train station served by regional and national services, which is linked to the airport by the SkyTrain, an automatic people mover. Another station situated under the terminal building carries the S-Bahn line S11 to Düsseldorf Central Station, and to Cologne as well as a few selected night services. After Frankfurt and Munich, Dusseldorf International is Germany's third largest commercial airport, with 21,850,489 passengers annually 2014. The airport offers 180 destinations on four continents, and is served by 70 airlines. The airport buildings were partly destroyed by a devastating fire caused by welding works in 1996, killing 17 people. It was completely rebuilt and the SkyTrain installed. Topic. Railway The city is a major hub in the Deutsche Bahn DB railway network. More than 1,000 trains stop in Dusseldorf daily. Dusseldorf Central Station at Konrad Adenauer Platz is located in Dusseldorf Stadtmitt. Several Rhein-Ruhr S-Bahn lines connect Dusseldorf to other cities of Rhein-Ruhr. Local Dusseldorf Strandbahn and light rail Dusseldorf Stadtbahn traffic, as well as local bus traffic, is carried out by the city-owned Rheinbahn which operates within the VRR public transport system. The light rail system also serves neighboring cities and is partially operated underground. The central station and the airport station Bahnhof are connected to the national and European high-speed systems Intercity, Eurocity, IC, EC and Intercity Express. Topic. Taxi In Dusseldorf there are 1320 officially licensed taxis. According to the regulations, the cars are always in ivory color. On the back window you always find a black number on a yellow patch. Credit card payment has to be accepted at the taxi stands at airport of Dusseldorf. The supply of taxis in Dusseldorf is over the German average. Two taxi organizations cover the market. Taxi Dusseldorf offers more than 1180 cabs in different sizes for max. Eight passengers. The smaller one is Rhine Taxi, with more than 120 cabs. It is obligatory to carry out any journeys to destinations in the city and directly neighboring cities. Autobahn <inaudible> 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 North Rhine-Westphalia has the densest network of autobahns in Germany and Dusseldorf is directly accessible via the A3, A44, A46, A52, A57, A59 and A524. Topic: Culture and Recreation. Elector Jan Wellem and his wife Anna Maria Luisa de' Medici of Tuscany, were patrons of Dusseldorf's first significant cultural activities in the 17th and 18th centuries. Heinrich Heine, whose 200th birthday was celebrated in 1997 and who originally had a proposed memorial in the city dedicated to him, Clara and Robert Schumann, and as Felix Mendelssohn, are the most prominent artists related to the city, which is home to a distinguished Academy of Fine Arts. The Dusseldorf cultural scene comprises traditional and avant-garde, classical and glamorous. The world-famous state art collection of North Rhine-Westphalia, the highly acclaimed Deutsche Oper am Rhein opera, and the Dusseldorfer Schauspielhaus theater, artistic home of Gustav Grungens, are major elements of Dusseldorf's reputation as a center of the fine arts. Beer. Dusseldorf is well known for its Altbier, a hoppy beer which translates as old style beer, a reference to the pre-lager brewing method of using a warm top fermenting yeast like British pale ales. Over time the alt yeast adjusted to lower temperatures, and the alt brewers would store or lager the beer after fermentation, leading to a cleaner, crisper beer. The name, Altbier 
first appeared in the 19th century to differentiate the beers of Dusseldorf from the new pale lager that was gaining a hold on Germany. Brewers in Dusseldorf used the pale malts that were used for the modern pale lagers, but retained the old alt method of using warm fermenting yeasts. The first brewery to use the name alt was Schumacher, which opened in 1838. The founder, Matthias Schumacher, allowed the beer to mature in cool conditions in wooden casks for longer than normal, and laid the foundation for the modern alt, amber-colored and lagered. The result is a pale beer that has some of the lean dryness of a lager but with fruity notes as well. There are five pub breweries in Dusseldorf which brew alt beer on the premises, Fuschen, Schumacher, Schlüssel, Uerich and Brauerei Kurzer. Four of the five are in the historic center of Dusseldorf Altstadt, the other Schumacher, between the Altstadt and Dusseldorf Central Railway Station Hauptbahnhof, also maintains an establishment in the Altstadt, I'm Golden and Kessel, across the street from Schlüssel. Each except Kurser, produces a special, secret, seasonal, stick, version in small quantities, though the names vary, Schlüssel spells it, Steik, without the, C, while Schumacher calls its special beer. Latzenbier, meaning slat beer, possibly because the kegs from which it was poured had been stored on raised shelves. Fusion seasonal is its Weihnachtsbier Christmas beer, available in bottles starting mid-November, and served in the brew pub on Christmas Eve. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Music and nightlife. Since the 1950s, the KOM M Ocean has been one of the most prominent political cabarets of Germany. The city's most famous contribution to the culture of modern popular music is beyond doubt the influential avant-garde electronic music band Kraftwerk. Formed by a few Dusseldorf-born musicians, Kraftwerk is internationally known as the most significant band in the history of post-war German music and as pioneers in electronic music. Internationally known power metal band Warlock was formed in Dusseldorf in 1982. Its frontwoman, Doro Pesch, had a successful solo career in Europe and Asia since Warlock ended. The punk band Die Toten Hosen, which is famous around the world, also the most popular singers in Germany Westernhagen and Heino come from Dusseldorf. The electronic act DAF was formed in the city in 1978, as well as the electronic, industrial pioneers Die Krupps in 1980. The experimental post-punk group La Dusseldorf was named after the city, for which it paid with a legal case in the early 1980s. Another famous formation is Felfarben. Founded in the late 1970s by Peter Hein, Frank Fenstermacher, Kurt Dahlk and Michael Kemner. Dusseldorf appears in several songs, including Dusseldorf by the British indie band Telemann and Worst du Dock in Dusseldorf Gebelieben by Danish singer Dord Kolo. Fashion Dusseldorf, Germany is the fashion capital of Germany as it is a major cultural center for the art and fashion scenes. The fashionable clothes trend took root in this city before 1949. 1949 is the date of the first fashion show staged in Dusseldorf. Fashion trends have occurred as access to more elegant clothing for the general public has been a part of the culture for almost a century. Two times a year an event called the Voices of Fashion occurs and attracts many people to visit Dusseldorf to find the latest fashion items. There are famous designers that have made a name for themselves in Dusseldorf as well. Designers Sabine Schumacher, Peter O. Mahler, and Renata Harvin all design in Dusseldorf. To keep the creativity and passion for fashion alive in Dusseldorf every day there are schools dedicated to fashion design in Dusseldorf as well. Academy Mode and Design Institution, Design Department Academy, and Mode Design College are the three prominent fashion schools residing in Dusseldorf. Topic: <laughs> Carnival. One of the biggest cultural events in Dusseldorf is the Carnival, also referred to as the Fifth Season which starts every year on of November at 11.11 a.m., and reaches its climax on Rosenmontag Rose Monday, featuring a huge parade through the streets of Dusseldorf. Carnival ends on Aschermittwoch Ash Wednesday. <laughs> Cartwheeler of Dusseldorf The Dusseldorfer Rodschläger boy who does cartwheels is said to be the city's oldest tradition. 
The symbol of the Kartwheeler can be found on many souvenirs and various things in Dusseldorf have the Kartwheelers to thank for their names. This tradition was honored in 1954 by the erection of a fountain, called Kartwheeler's Fountain, on the Bergplatz in Dusseldorf. <laughs> Legends of its origin and history The tradition cannot be linked to one specific historical event, instead, there are several stories surrounding the beginnings of the Dusseldorf Kartwheelers. Probably the most well-known version is Battle of Warringen. In the Battle of 1288 Count Adolf devastatingly defeated the Archbishop of Cologne. As a consequence of this victory, Dusseldorf obtained town privileges. The inhabitants, especially the children ran joyfully on the streets and performed cartwheels. Another story talks about a wedding procession during which one of the wheels of the wedding carriage broke. In order to fend off the threat of bad luck, a boy supposedly jumped to the carriage, took hold of the wheel and thus became a living part of the wheel. Whether the story is about the marriage of Jan Wellam and Anna Maria Luisa de' Medici or the wedding of Margravine Jacobia of Baden and Johann Wilhelm is debatable. Another story gives an account of this wedding between Margrave Jacob von Baden and Johann Wilhelm, in 1585. According to legend she felt miserable about her marriage, but the cartwheelers who displayed their skills next to her carriage were able to make her smile. Numerous travelers were attracted to the city by great exhibitions, the forerunner of today's fairs, between the end of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th century. During this time the children who did the cartwheeling found out that it was a profitable source of income. The bourgeoisie accepted this in good humor as a symbolic act of local patriotism. In the beginning the lads shouted for eene penning schlage ich das rad cartwheel for a penny. The Jan Wellam monument returned to Dusseldorf at the end of the Second World War. The procession was accompanied by torches, fanfares and the cartwheeling boys. <laughs> Cartwheelers in the cityscape Cartwheelers can be found by several fountains within the city. The most famous is Cartwheelers Fountain in Bergplatz with an inscription of a quote by Hans Müller Schlosser, Rodschläger wall mir blieb, we jek et de München och drieb, we will always remain cartwheelers, however crazy it drives people. The fountain was designed by Alfred Z. Schorsch in 1954 and donated by the Heimatverein Düsseldorfer Jongs, which is a club devoted to the maintenance of local and regional traditions. There are other cartwheelers that decorate storm drains and the door knocker on the Church of Lambertus, which was designed by Friedrich Becker. He created the cartwheeler in front of the Schada arcades. This tradition has been kept alive by the ALDE Dusseldorfer Burgergesellschaft von 1920 e. v. A society founded in 1920, who organized the first cartwheeler competition on 17 October 1937. Since 1971 this event has been held annually in cooperation with the Staatsparkasse a local bank, but formerly took place in the Königsallee. Since 2006 it has taken place on the Rheinwerft, near the old part of town. This is a fixed date in the city's calendar of events. About 500 boys regularly participate in this event and since 1971 girls have also taken part. In 2001 the art project Rodschläger Kunst cartwheeler art was called into life, in which over 100 cartwheeler sculptures have been designed by various artists. The door knocker on the Church of Lambertus functioned as a model for the sculptures that are 2 meters 6 feet 7 inches high, 2 meters 6 feet 7 inches wide and 30 centimeters 12 in deep. They were positioned around the city center. Some of the sculptures have been auctioned off to companies and private owners. Christmas market Every Christmas, the city of Dusseldorf uses the city centre to host one of the largest Christmas gatherings in Germany. The Christmas festival occurs every year from 17 November until 23 December. This Christmas fest brings Dusseldorf a large portion of tourism every year as many people from nearby areas come to the city to drink mulled wine and hot chocolate and watch craftsmen blow glass and create art. The event contains many small wooden buildings all clustered in the middle of the city for all the citizens to enjoy. The event, to many visitors, has an old European feel, but is very lively. Cuisine 
Traditional meals in the region are Rheinischer Sauerbraten a beef roast and sometimes horse marinated for a few days in vinegar and spices served with gravy and raisins and heaven and earth Himmel und Ad, black pudding with stewed apples mixed with mashed potatoes. In winter the people like to eat Muschelin Rheinischer Art Rhenish style mussels as well as Rybekutchen fried potato pancake served with apple sauce. Also a special meal, Dusseldorfer Sinfrostbraten steaks roasted with Dusseldorf mustard on top. Dusseldorf is known for its strong Dijon-like mustard served in a traditional pot called Mosterpotch, which was eternalized in a still life by Vincent van Gogh in 1884. The Rhine metropolis is one of the most diverse areas in terms of culinary diversity. Dusseldorf, with the third largest Japanese community in Europe, not only provides a wide range of culinary cuisine but also has a solid foundation of authentic Asian food in the city. Dusseldorf's exceptional culinary cuisine has been recognized and visited by the worldwide leading travel guide of Lonely Planet. Along with a broad range of diverse cultural cuisine, Dusseldorf is also home to various Michelin starred restaurants that are world renowned. Alve Han, this dish is made from a half a double rye roll, which is another of the specialties of Dusseldorf, buttered, with a thick slice of aged Gouda cheese, onions, mustard, ground paprika, and sour pickles. Himmel und Aad, a dish of mashed potatoes and apples along with slices of Blutwurst. Caramelized onions are usually served with this meal. Rybekutchen is another famous dish from Dusseldorf. This dish is usually drizzled with Rubenzirup beet syrup and is served on pumpernickel slices along with apple sauce. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Literature. The Vorderpreis für Literatur der Landeshauptstadt Dusseldorf is a German literary award donated by the city of Dusseldorf in North Rhine-Westphalia. The Prize for Literature in Support of the City of Dusseldorf is awarded since 1972 by the Council of the City due to the decisions of the courts. The Vorderpreis für Literatur der Landeshauptstadt Dusseldorf is given once a year to artists and groups, especially to the areas of poetry, writing, review, and translation. Topic: <laughs> Rivalry with Cologne. Dusseldorf and Cologne have a fierce regional rivalry. The rivalry includes carnival parades, football, ice hockey and beer. People in Cologne prefer Kolsch while people in Dusseldorf prefer Alt. Waiters and patrons will scorn and make a mockery of people who order Alt beer in Cologne and Kolsch in Dusseldorf. The rivalry has been described as a love-hate relationship. Theatres Apollo variety, circus, shows do not require knowledge of German language Capital musicals, Deutsche Oper am Rhein opera, ballet, Dusseldorfer Schauspielhaus, the theatre started with theatrical performances in 1585 Dusseldorfer Marinetten Theatre Esprit Arena venue of the Eurovision Song Contest 2011 FFT, Forum Phrase Theater, Intimate Theater, Junges Theater in der Altstadt, Klangram, 20th Century Classical Music, KOM M Ochen, Political Cabaret, Komödie Düsseldorf, Palais Wittgenstein, Puppentheater in der Helmholtzstraße, Puppetry, Robert Schumann Saal, Savoy Theater, Seniorentheater in der Altstadt. Tanz House NRW Theater for Dance Tenhalle Dusseldorf Concert Hall for Classical Music Jazz Pop Cabaret Theater and Der Co Theater and Der Lugali Theateratelier Takelgarn Theater Flynn Theater Glorike Topic <laughs> Museums Arts and History Institutes and other attractions Academy Gallery Exhibition Space of the Art Academy Dusseldorf Andreas Kirch Aquazu Labaki Museum Aquarium and Zoological Museum TV Tower Braz Vereinsheim des Metzgeri Schnitzel Kunstvereins E V Film Museum Film Siftung NRW NRW Film Foundation Forum NRW Goethe Museum Heinrich Heine Institute 
Heinrich Heine Birth House Hetgens Museum German Museum of Ceramics Amai Intermedia Art Institute Institut Francais Düsseldorf Institut für Kunstdokumentation und Scenographie Institute for Art Documentation and Scenography Julia Stoschik Collection Video Art Kai 10 Rom für Kunst Kulturbahnhof Eller Kunstarchiv Kaiserswerth Works of Bernd and Hilla Becker Kamen Collection Kunstheim Tunnel Kit Kunstsammlung Nordrhein-Westfalen Art Collection Nordrhein-Westfalia K20 Grabeplatz and K21 Standhaus Kunsthalle Düsseldorf Kunstverein für die Rheinland und Westfalen Society for the Promotion of the Fine Arts Museum Kunstpalast Man und Gedenkstatt für die Opfer des Nationalsozialismus Memorial Museum for Victims of National Socialism Onomato Polnisches Institut Düsseldorf Puppentheater in der Helmholtzstrasse Rathaus Rheinraum e. v. Verein zur Forderung von Kunst und Kultur Rheinturm Rhein Tower, highest building and landmark of Dusseldorf Street. Lambertuskirch Schiffart Museum Schloss Jägerhof Schlosstürm Schloss und Park Benrath Palace and Park of Benrath Stadtbibliothek Stadtmuseum City History Museum Statue of Jan Wellem Theater Museum, Dusseldorf, Triton Museum, Volkshochschule, Zach, Cultural Center with concerts, readings, debates, and party. Topic: <laughs> Parks and Gardens. Botanischer Garten Dusseldorf, a modern botanical garden. Hofgarten, the Nordpark with the Aqua Zoo. The Sudfriedha, the South Cemetery, Volksgarten adjacent to Sud Park. Topic: Sports. Düsseldorf's football team Fortuna Düsseldorf won the 1933 German Championship, the German Cup in 1979 and 1980, and were finalists in the European Cup Winners' Cup in 1979. After 15 years in lower leagues they were promoted following a playoff win over Hertha Berlin in 2012. As of 2014, they are back in the second division of German soccer. Their new stadium, the Esprit Arena, opened in January 2005 and has a capacity of 54,500. Dusseldorf was one of nine host cities for the 1974 FIFA World Cup, and the Rochus Club Dusseldorf has hosted the Tennis World Team Cup from 1978 till 2012. Dusseldorf also held the Grand Depart for the Tour de France in July 2017. Other sports in Dusseldorf are ice hockey, the Dusseldorfer e.g., which play in the new ISS Dome, and American football. The Dusseldorf Panther are one of the most successful teams in Germany with six German Bowl titles and the Eurobowl victory in 1995. In addition, the junior team is the most successful youth department in Germany with 15 Junior Bowl victories. Rhein Fire Dusseldorf was an established team of the NFL Europe and won the World Bowl two times in 1998 and 2000. Dusseldorf has a successful rugby union team, Dusseldorf Dragons, who as of 2017-18 play in the Western Division of the two. Bundesliga, the second tier of German rugby, table tennis is also played Borussia Dusseldorf, the most successful team in Germany with Timo Boll, as are handball HSG Dusseldorf, basketball Dusseldorf Giants, baseball Dusseldorf Senators and dancing Rotway Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf also has a cricket team, the Dusseldorf Blackcaps, who play in the regional NRW League. Education Heinrich Heine University Dusseldorf is located in the southern part of the city. It has about 30,000 students and a wide range of subjects in natural sciences, mathematics, computer sciences, philosophy, social sciences, arts, languages, medicine, pharmacy, economy and the law. Other academic institutions include the Clara Schumann Musikschule, Music School. The Robert Schumann Hochschule. 
The Kunstakademie Düsseldorf Academy of Fine Arts which is famous for high-profile artists like Joseph Boyce, Paul Klee, Nam June Paik, Gerhard Richter, The Betchers, and Andreas Gursky. The Hochschule Düsseldorf University of Applied Sciences. The AMD Academy of Fashion and Design. The Max Planck Institute for Iron Research. The Goethe Institute. Verwaltungs- und Wirtschafts Akademie Düsseldorf. WHU Otto Beisheim School of Management, Düsseldorf Campus, International Primary and Secondary Schools, International School of Düsseldorf, Lycée Français de Düsseldorf, Japanisch International School in Düsseldorf. Topic: Notable Buildings. Rheinturm TV Tower, the city's landmark, 1,982 to 234 m, 768 feet, since 2004 to 240.50 meters, 789.0 feet. The lights on which comprise the world's largest digital clock. The Gary Buildings in the Düsseldorf Media Harbor. See picture above. The Calorium, an 18-story tower designed by Alsop and Partners, also in the Düsseldorf Media Harbor. The Benrather Schloss Benrath Palace. The Gruppello House probably designed by the Italian architect Matteo Alberti in 1706 for Duke Johann Wilhelm. The Willem Marx House of 1922-24, at 12 stories high, it was Germany's first high-rise building. The Stahlhof of 1906, the administrative center of Germany's steel economy until 1945. The Stummhaus of 1925, another early German high-rise building. Jerusheim Basilica. St. Subertus Basilica. DRV Tower, 120-meter-high tower constructed in 1978. Gap 15, an 85-meter-high building constructed in 2005 near Königsallee. ARAG Tower, at 131 meters 430 feet in height, it is Dusseldorf's highest office building, designed by Sir Norman Foster. Eight bridges span the Rhine at Dusseldorf, they, too, are city landmarks. Eastern pylon of Reisholtz Rhine powerline crossing, an electricity pylon under whose legs runs a rail. Notable places Co. a shopping street with luxuries shops. Schloss Benrath, Rococo Castle. Altstadt, Dusseldorf, literally Old Town, the historic town center with the town hall Altes Rathaus from 1573. Nowadays, Dusseldorf's entertainment district with hundreds of pubs and restaurants, and proverbially known by Germans as the longest bar in the world. Dusseldorf Hafen, the harbor is a modern build district. Kaiserswerth, historical district with the ruined castle of Barbarossa Frederick I, Holy Roman Emperor Schloss Helterf, the biggest palace in Dusseldorf, since 1662 homestead of the noble family Grafen von Spee Hofgarten, Old City Park Schloss Jägerhof, an old hunting lodge at the Hofgarten, today a Goethe museum <laughs> Twin towns, sister cities Dusseldorf is twinned with In addition, Dusseldorf has friendship relations with Notable natives Born before 1850 Francois Charles de Velbrick, 1719–1784, Prince Bishop of Liege Helena Curtins, 1722–1738, last victim of the witch trials in the Lower Rhine Johann Georg Jacobi, 1740–1814, writer Friedrich Heinrich Jacobi, 1743–1819, philosopher and writer Peter von Cornelius, 1783–1867, painter Heinrich Heine, 1797–1856, poet and writer 
Paul Graf von Hatzfeld to Trachtenberg, 1851–1901, Secretary of State and Head of the Foreign Office of the German Reich 1881–1885 Eugen Richter, 1838–1906, today part of Berlin, politician and publicist Arnold Forstmann, 1842–1914, landscape painter Peter Janssen, 1844–1908, painter, professor at the Art Academy Topic. Born 1851–1900 Georg Wenker, 1852–1911, linguist, founder of Linguistic Atlas of the German Reich Wenker Atlas. Karl Janssen, 1855–1927, sculptor, professor at the Art Academy Fritz Ries, 1857–1915, lithographer, illustrator, graphic artist and painter Bruno Schmitz, 1858–1916, architect Otto Hupp, 1859–1949, signature graphic artist, engraver Albert Herzfeld, 1865–1943, painter and author Hans Heinz Ewers, 1871–1943, writer and filmmaker Wilhelm Levison, 1876–1947, historian Elie Ney, 1882–1968, world-famous concert pianist Carl Maria Weber, 1890–1953, writer Willie Reitz, 1892–1963, painter, Dusseldorf School Hermann Nufkin, 1893–1976, marine soldier, revolutionary, union activist, resistance fighter and secret agent Ludwig Gare, 1895–1945 in Flossenburg, officer and resistance fighter Hans Globke, 1898–1973, jurist, National Socialist, from 1949 Assistant Secretary, then Secretary of State in the Federal Chancellery 1953–1963 Karl von Appen, 1900–1981, stage designer Topic. Born after 1900 Jacob Sporenberg 1902-1952, SS Group Leader, Lieutenant General of Police and Politician NSDAP, executed for war crimes Tony Ullman 1906-1976, motorcycle and car race driver Helmut Kottner 1908-1980, film director De Teufels General, Das Haus in Montevideo, actor Hilarious Gilges 1909-1933, Afro-German actor, victim of Nazism Kurt Franz 1914-1998, Nazi SS Commandant of Treblinka extermination camp Fred Becky 1923-2017, rock climber, mountaineer, author Jürgen Habermas, born 1929, philosopher and sociologist. Karl Ludwig Wagner, 1930 to 2012, politician, CDU. Wim Wenders, born 1945, filmmaker, playwright, author. Marius Müller Westernhagen, born 1948, actor and musician. Andreas Gursky, born 1955, photographer. Bettina Bodinger, born 1956, TV presenter. Birgit Bender, born 1956, politician, The Greens, member of Landtag and Bundestag. Andreas Frege, born 1962, Campina, singer in the band Die Toten Hosen. René Obermann, born 1963, manager, husband of Maybrit Illner. Michael Preetz, born 1967, former football player. Heike Makach, born 1971, actress and singer. Christian Helmich, born 1977, artist. Tetsuya Kakahara, born 1982, voice actor and singer. Max Sonnenschein, born 1980, photographer. Topic: The following figures are not natives of the city, but have a connection to Düsseldorf. William Thomas Mulvaney, asterisk 1806 Dublin, Ireland, 30 October 1885 in Dusseldorf, entrepreneur 
Robert Schumann, born the 8th of June 1810 in Zwickau, the 29th of July 1856 in Endenich, composer, 1850 to 1854, urban music director in Düsseldorf. Alfred Rethel, born the 5th of May 1816 in Aachen, the 1st of December 1859 in Düsseldorf, history painter. Clara Schumann, born the 13th of September 1819 in Leipzig, the 20th of May 1896 in Frankfurt am Main, pianist and composer, wife of Robert Schumann, frequent host of Johannes Brahms in Düsseldorf, 1850–1854. Emanuel Leutze, born the 24th of May 1824 in Schwäbisch Gmünd, the 18th of July 1868 in Washington D.C., painter, Düsseldorf School. Louise Dumont, born the 22nd of February 1862 in Cologne, the 16th of May 1932 in Düsseldorf, actress and 1904 founder of the Schauspielhaus Düsseldorf. Johanna, mother, a, born the 4th of March 1864 in Wickrath, today Gladbach, the 27th of August 1947 in Düsseldorf, gallery owner. Peter Behrens, born the 14th of April 1868 in Hamburg-Borgfeld, the 27th of February 1940 in Berlin, architect and director of the Düsseldorf Art Academy. Wilhelm Kreis, born the 17th of March 1873 in Eltville, the 13th of August 1955 in Bad Hunnef, architect and director of the School of Applied Arts Düsseldorf. Peter Curtin, born the 26th of May 1883 in Mulheim am Rhein, the 2nd of July 1931 in Cologne, called the Vampire of Düsseldorf, committed in Düsseldorf during the period between February and November 1929 series of sexual homicide. Adolf Azarski, born the 14th of April 1885 in Ruhrort, today Duisburg, the 14th of July 1970 in Düsseldorf, writer, painter, and graphic artist. Emil Ferenkamp, born the 8th of November 1885 in Aachen, the 24th of May 1966 in Ratingen Breitscheid, architect and director of Düsseldorf Art Academy 1937 to 1945. Ernest Martin, born the 23rd of February 1932 in New York City, theater director, theater manager and actor in Düsseldorf. Betty Knox, 1906 to 1963, dancer with Variety Act Wilson, Keppel and Betty, and war correspondent, lived in the city during her later years and died there. Topic. See also. Japan Day in Dusseldorf. Open Cities. 2017 Dusseldorf Axe Attack.